let's go straight into this uh what's up everyone uh let me know where you're from where i'm at is snowing and i know it's snowing all across texas all over the place I'm from louisiana by the way if you're from louisiana comment where you are from in louisiana and uh maybe i might know you maybe i'm maybe i might i might know you i don't know but let's get straight into this uh it's crazy how it's already season season three and it's episode five which is crazy that it's already season like we're already in the fifth episode it's crazy we're watching this for five weeks which is just gonna show how fast time is let's get straight into this uh show started out with beverly in the game and jordan got hit hard and he was taken out to the first aid booth then back at then uh Then it seems like Beverly are doing bad in her game. <clears throat> oh, Crenshaw is doing bad in her game after the, some of the things that uh, Billy and the new coach, I can't remember his name, was saying. Uh, then back at Beverly, Jordan is out of the game with a concussion, which he isn't really happy about. Uh, and then Asher comes up with a play to try and get uh, Beverly a score. Uh, at first, she doesn't like it, but... Uh, it was a trick play, and it came to fruition, and, and it worked, and it got him a touchdown. Uh, Patience looked at a video of Mo with Coop, and Coop still has her suspicions about Mo. And I really, I just really can't wait to see if something is going to happen. If nothing happens, then I'm kind of going to be mad. But, but you know, I really, I just can't wait to see what's going to happen throughout the season. I really can't wait to see what happens with, with those two. Then Mo interferes into their convo was eavesdropping and she tries to get patience out of her contract but Coop denies which was a which was a which was which wasn't which wasn't really good if you're in a relationship with someone and they're going through something like that uh in a contract with someone else that wasn't a that was a DIC uh move by Coop to do that to patience. Back at Crenshaw practice Chris is getting getting hit a lot by uh an unknown player, but come to find out it's Billy Baker in a in a uh practice uniform, which really surprised me. Uh it would've surprised it didn't surprise me, but it wouldn't it wouldn't it would have surprised me if I didn't see the Instagram post from uh, Daniel Ezra's Instagram the the other day. I saw Billy in a uh, uniform kind of I was I didn't know I thought it was a joke. But uh you know he trying to he trying to really get Chris ready for the next game because Chris be getting hit a lot. Uh, the protection was just bad these last few games. He's just trying to get him ready for the next game. Uh, Spencer at therapy with the dude that Eminem beat the piss out of in 8 Mile tells Spencer that he feels Coop is a stuck point. And he also tells him that he needs to be honest with Coop. You know, he got to get he got to get that off his chest due to the fact that, you know, he's going to keep that on his heart and just going to keep thinking about it over and over again and just going to eat him alive. Just gonna eat him alive. Just need to get it. Just need to get his emotions together and just tell Coop. Just be honest with him. You know, Spencer at first didn't like it, but you know, he eventually came to the conclusion that he's he's gonna do it. And uh, just couldn't wait to see what was gonna happen. How Coop was gonna take that? Cause Coop has been going through a lot herself. Well, she's pin she's putting herself through a lot. But you know, I feel like you know Coop just giving herself a hard time. For no reason, in my opinion. Uh, Miss Baker makes a, a big breakfast for uh, Olivia. Now, this is another thing. I don't know if any of y'all saw this, but I saw a meme uh a while back of like it was like I can't I can't I, I don't know how, how it went, but it was like showing about how movies back back then you would make a whole breakfast and then they would just take one thing and just leave. That's basically what happened you know she made a big breakfast of some bagels i don't know what she made but i'm sure it was good because that's a that's a nice house you know with nice houses probably come with food good food makers but you know made a big breakfast never ate nothing uh decided she's gonna pick something up uh, bro, energy wasted but uh the breakfast was for her being 18 months sober which you know that's a damn line she's not really sober uh just a waste of energy by miss baker uh montez tell jordan she doesn't want him practicing, and she wants Jay Z as JJ as a quarterback. Uh, just really, it's been an up and down season for Jordan. Uh, 
there's a lot he's putting he's also putting himself through a lot i mean him and coop should just be in a relationship uh it's the crap he's doing with simone that i've never liked since last season that uh worrying about spencer who's not even living with him anymore uh questioning his dad I wonder what, that's one thing I wonder, where does Billy, where does Billy live? That's a question I'm asking myself, because I don't, I, I don't know, does he live with them? Does he go to Crenshaw and then come all the way back to Beverly? I don't know. But, uh, uh, what else? Uh, Spot getting, probably getting taken two times this season already. You know, stuff he's never had to worry about. Uh, it's pressure he's getting from Coach Montez. Stuff like that, you know. Just a lot on his plate also. Uh, and she tells him that JG is going to be a quarterback up until he's coming back. Uh, back at Crenshaw, Billy tells Spencer you might have to find a different quarterback. And he wants him to talk to Chris, which is going to be, which which Billy, which Spencer explains to Billy that it's going to be tough due to the fact that Chris is still pissed at uh, Spencer for not wanting him to be the quarterback. Which needs to freaking get over. Uh, Spencer tells Arnell what is wrong with him, and Chris tells him the reason why he's having problems because well, when Spencer was on the field last time, he uh, he's a reason that he got injured. If you remember, injured his elbow or arm, one of those. He just needs to get over it, guys. Uh, Grace tells Spencer to apologize, to Chris. Uh, Miss Baker calls Billy, uh, and she asks him if he thinks Olivia is using again. Uh, Another person Olivia is putting a lot on herself, keeping a secret from her parents. Is a uh, drinking is a bad, is a real bad uh thing. I don't know how people drink. I honestly, don't know how people have drinking problems. But that's just me, due to the fact I think it's it just tastes bad. I don't know how people like to drink bad stuff, but you know, uh, is what it is. That's one thing. Uh, I don't know. I don't understand. Uh, Jordan is mad at Asher for not. I wouldn't say sticking up for him, but not caring enough about him. Uh, Asher and Olivia doing some homework or whatever. And uh, Jordan is just being a, uh, a crybaby like he's been all season. He's had past two seasons. No, the whole entire series, he's been a crybaby. And I'm just crying and crying and crying uh, about how uh, Asher isn't uh, trying to get something i can't remember but Asher just uh, he's basically saying that uh, that asher isn't really caring about him trying to put him in a better position to be uh quarterback one uh and asher tells him he's trying to get the team ready which is which is good you know and he, uh jordan tells me trying to go d1 but you know jordan just in over his head man he's just really in over his head he just cries too much bro and then he brings up asher's uh give away the playbook last season and him taking steroids. Uh patience patience meets with a mo and sort of threatens her. She threatens her? Then she asks for help. She threatened her, then she asks for help. Sort of threatened her and asks for help. She's a lawyer and she she threatened a lawyer. Who has made the impossible possible. Surprisingly, it went well. Uh, came to talk to her about trying to get her out of the contract. And I predicted this that Mo was going to get out of the contract. Because, man, Mo was working magic, man. I like a character, but, bruh. There's a reason why she's still on the show. I'm going to let y'all know this. There is a reason why Patriots... Mo is on the show. Mo is not Darnell or... Or... or uh. Sean or Tyrone, they're not on the show no more. But Mo was on the show for a reason, bro. And I'm telling y'all right now, they got on the show for a reason. Some go, some go happen. Some go happen. That's just facts. Then Olivia and Billy eat out, and she lies and tells Billy that she's sober and isn't using pills. And Billy complains that she isn't eating enough. Uh, it looked like she was eating some risotto, I think. A ravioli. Look dry as hell. 
no sauce on it. Back at Bev, Jordan doing a concussion test. Uh, and he apologized to, Ad to Asher. BS apology, by the way. Then Asher is B A C K K K K K K K K K K K K K K and he finds and he finds out and then Jordan then after Asher leaves uh kind of leaves his locker open a little bit and Jordan sees his uh I couldn't really see what the name of it was. It was anti Nus something uh in his locker. Once he uses it but man. I just can't wait to see what happened next week. I'm um, just going to see what happened next week. Uh, just Jennifer meets Olivia at her house, uh, which is freaking weird. It was a skip scene, basically. And actually, she's still using it. was really a skip scene. Didn't really. I had a few skip scenes in here. I didn't I didn't go over just a few skip scenes. Actually, she still used and tells her she can tell her addict because she's a freaking addict. Uh, Jen oh, I left that off a earlier. Jennifer and Olivia was friends for about a week uh, in the healing house, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Becca Crenshaw, they are down 10 to nothing like expected. Uh, Patience tells, uh, at halftime, Patience tells Coop that she's released from her contract. Coop is overexcited, but then she tells Coop Mo helped her and that picks her off, which... I feel like she should have kept that from Coop, but uh, she tells the person, and then the patient tells us to chill and just stop worrying about it. Uh, Chris on down 17 and nothing. Chris and Spencer lead a 35 point, 35, leave a comeback, 35 unanswered points to win the game. And yes, I cover sports, so that's why I said it like that. 35 unanswered points to win the game, 35 to 17. Uh, they were looking like mustard. In those jerseys, sorry, in those jerseys that they had. Uh, then Miss Baker opens open the envelope and it shows alcohol wasn't tested, and and Olivia seems shocked. I, I'm not sure why that happened, in my opinion, because it's just two episodes, three episodes she was using that, so I'm not sure what happened. Olivia seems shocked and she, and then as soon as she's about to tell her something, uh, her phone Miss Baker phone ring. And then she just goes upstairs, stairs. And then she's in. Then she's she holds a bottle, and I think the bathroom. I'm guessing. I guess it's a bathroom. Look like a bathroom size room. And then out of nowhere, Jordan just pushes her out of the room, in a closet. I guess. I mean, they're so rich, man. I don't. I can't. I can't tell what is what. I guess it's a a closet or a different room. I'm not sure. And uh, it could be her. And uh, Olivia puts her ear to the door, and then. And you can hear Jordan throwing up. Uh, in my in my opinion, well, this is what I think. I feel like Jordan might have took those things that Asher had to test it out. That's what I feel happened, and he wound up throwing it up. I feel like I feel like that's what happened. I feel like that's what happened. But I can't wait to see what's gonna happen later on. Coop shows up at Spencer after he eats a bowl of cereal. I wonder what kind of cereal he ate. Let me know in the comment section what is your favorite cereal. Mine is uh, it's a tie. It's a tie between Frosted Flakes and uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is the greatest of all time. But I've been eating Frosted Flakes all my life, and it just it's just it's just a tie, man. It's just a tie between those two. Uh, the show ends with Spencer revealing to Coop it's her fault for him getting shot. He also reveals that. She always gets herself into something that has nothing to do with her, which is which is true, which is true, which is damn true, really, really, really true. But you know, already the fifth episode. Wow, already the fifth episode, guys. Uh, I made sure I did it, did this review right after this episode was done, because I don't like doing it the day after. But I made sure I did it. Snowing all over America. Make sure you guys. Wrap your pipes, stay warm, drink apple juice, like, comment, subscribe, watch all my other videos, probably not the football videos because I, I, there's a lot of people watching this from different places, but you can watch my my first videos like all the way to the bottom. I give advice, stuff like that, but like, comment, subscribe.